So Rahim Aslam Alaikum. In this video we are going to create our first AI basic enemy and for that purpose I have just downloaded some characters from Mixamo and uh, now after downloading the characters we can import that characters into Unity and I have just imported that asset the first one here and after that we will select our character we will go to rig generic and we will change it to humanoid because we need humanoid model for our uh, enemy also we will go to materials and we will click on extract uh, textures and we will select the folder and now the materials will be extracted from this model now this model is uh, uh, ready to use and we can correct uh, create our own uh, AI characters and first of all we will learn about some basic AI uh, functionalities and how AI works so let's create our first AI enemy here uh, in in vector we will have AI controller and then we can create our new AI uh, before that also note that I have opened the city scene and I have just placed our character here because we want to test uh, the AI enemy right away otherwise we will move to main menu then level select then we can come here but uh, for testing purpose I have just placed the character here and uh, when we will build the game uh, finalize the game we will delete this character and we will uh, spawn the character dynamically so here is our character and now we can place our AI enemy so before uh, creating AI enemy I will just uh, drag off this model and we will check the size of the model and actually the size is, is uh, absolutely fine and that's fine yeah so now we will create our first AI enemy. So for creating AI enemy, we can go to Invector, AI controller, create new AI, and we will drag drop our model here, okay, in this slot. After that, we will click on animator controller, and you will find some controllers here. You can see the basic shooter melee controller, shooter uh, melee combat controller, basic controller, and also you can see AI basic locomotion, AI melee combat and AI shooter. So we have to select AI uh, controller, okay. And for this uh, video, I am just going to create basic locomotion character. And after that, we can select FSM behavior controller. So click on this option and we have certain FSM behaviors. So we can choose any of the uh, FSM behavior uh, and uh, I will just choose FSM civilian simple for this video. After that we have type of controller and we have V control AI, AI combat, AI melee, AI shooter. So for this uh, certain character we will just select V control AI and then we will create our character. And now you can see in hierarchy that we have our character but uh, it's on 000 index and we can just move this character towards our player so for testing purpose and our player is uh, I think uh, here maybe or where is our character I will just check it out and our character is actually it is our character uh, okay maybe here no so okay let's select the character and then we will find that where it is yeah actually it's here nearby and uh, okay so we will just uh, place this uh, AI character over here and now you can see certain components added with our AI characters okay so first of all we will study that 
in this video. So if we select our characters, you can see on the right hand side, we have rigid body attached to our character. Also, we have a capsule collider. So we don't need to add capsule collider and uh, rigid body. Also, we have nav mesh agent already added. Also, we have added the FSM behavior controller, which is very important component and we can change this as well. Also, we have added AI basic controller and this is the most important part of our, our AI controller. So here you can see that we have our health and we can uh, increase our maximum health, we can add health recovery, we can add death by animation or animation with ragdoll or ragdoll and we have to add ragdoll before implementing the animation with ragdoll. Also we can check remove component after death and uh, this is also a uh, option here. After that we have start and inside start we can disable agent on start, disable controller on start. Okay, So these are two options in start. In movement we have a walking movement selected in default and we can also select running, sprinting, idle if we want. So walking is uh, fine and if we change the animator speed if we make it uh, bigger or smaller then it will be implemented to all type of animation so running will be fast walking will be fast and other animations will be fast as well we can also use the root motion we can also turn on spot animation we can increase the free speed and we can change the values here walk speed running speed if you want also we have straw speed so we can also change the values of straw speed uh, we have step offset and this uh, tab is for uh, some obstacles for example we have certain obstacles and uh, our character is uh, stuck with some obstacles then we can play with these values and it will be smooth after that we have ground and jump this will control the jumping uh, 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 obstacle uh, functionality so for example we have navigation mesh from here uh, for example here we have a cube and here we have a cube as well and there is a distance between them and we have navigation mesh on that cubes then what will happen that this uh, player this AI enemy will jump from one cube to another cube okay so it is also a very nice uh, ability of AI component of Invector uh, after that we have uh, auto crouch auto crouch is also a very nice feature of Invector so if we enable auto crouch you will see a uh, option here if uh, for example we will you will see a collider here okay so head detect start if we change it actually why we can't see it because debug yeah we didn't enable the debug so if we make it uh, lower or higher we can add it at the exact point where we want to detect crouch feature okay so for example it is here then what will happen if some obstacle comes he will detect the that obstacle and it uh, the AI anime will crouch at that point okay that thing we will also see and uh, we can also make certain uh, changes here we can select the layer of that auto crouch action as well and uh, that's certain aspect of auto crouch after that we have agent and uh, in agent we have certain settings for name mesh agent and uh, we can play with these uh, settings as well acceleration stopping distance etc and we will learn about this as well uh, we have waypoint tab in which we can create waypoint areas and in next video we will create a waypoint area 
and in waypoint if uh, we can uh, the enemy will follow the certain path after that we have a uh, detection and this is the most important tab inside uh, this uh, AI basic controller component and here we can have detection point reference so for example if we want to create a detection point for our character we can do that we can create a uh, for example create empty object okay and then we can rename it to for example detection point and then we can place it anywhere for example usually it's used on the eyes area okay here so for example it is here and then if we select the character and if we drag drop uh, this uh, object here this will behave like a detection point now okay so how it will work so if for example we want to see this visual aspect we can just enable the debug visual detection debug ray sight and ok just um, enable the debug uh, visual detection and now you can see that from eyes you can see the detection from this point ok from this point so if we change the detection point to somewhere else for example here you will see our character is detecting uh, the uh, other objects from this place okay so we can assign this object anywhere on our player also we can uh, make it rotate as well so for example if we have a sniper shooter then uh, this rotation will be effective and actually we yeah actually it's not working rotation not working so no problem we can fix this issue as well so uh, no problem we, we will uh, fix this issue for sniper as well we can place the detection point somewhere bottom and then sniper will detect our player it's not necessary to place detection point on uh, object body okay we can place it uh, anywhere else for example uh, we can place it here as well okay so if we select you will see that player uh, this enemy is detecting in this area okay and whenever it will detect an uh, player he will shoot right away so uh, I will just make it zero and then we will place it again on our uh, character so uh, for a detection point we have several options as well we can increase the radius of detection from here you can see it in detail and if we uh, increase the radius you will see this radius is increased okay uh, the basic sorry <laughs> it's a capsule colliders uh, sorry for that uh, we have to increase this uh, radius inside detection so this uh, will be field of view for example so if we increase it you can see that our character can view and we can make it uh, 360 degree as well okay so for sniper it's uh, better uh, to make it 360 so uh, for minimum distance to detect we can also increase this minimum distance to detect okay we can make it smaller we can make it bigger we can also increase or decrease the maximum distance okay uh, to detect okay so we can make it bigger as well in case of snipers especially so we will uh, definitely make settings for our sniper shooters as well in next videos so this is all about detection and inside detection we have also a very uh, nice feature of detect layers so in these detect layer we have to select the player and detect tags we have to select player as well okay so now it will only detect the player and uh, he will respond accordingly okay so that's it for the basics of uh, AI enemy and we have successfully created a AI enemy 
and now if we play the game you will see that uh, it will be idle or maybe walking in certain area because we didn't have created any waypoint and in next video we will create a waypoint system and we will learn that how we can create waypoints so let's wait for some seconds so now you can see that uh, we have that uh, enemy here and uh, definitely if we can detect the enemy we can shoot the enemy as well and unfortunately this mouse is not unlocked uh, so yeah you can see that we can shoot but nothing happens okay so that thing we will also fix uh, in next video that why the player is not detecting our enemy okay uh, so that's uh, the thing we will solve in next video goodbye